color-coded slates, so it comes in handy. I'm proud to be helping the Three Star Rangers. Not everyone gets to say they were. Well, hey there. Say right up front that if you're short on credits, I can't help you. Any more charity cases, I'll go out of business. Well, all kinds of things. What are you looking for? I don't do payment plans or lines of credit, and I don't sell to shady individuals. If you can handle that, your money's welcome. You ask me? Traveling in Free Star Collective Space without a reliable sidearm is just asking for trouble. Don't make me regret this now. Kiel is one of the oldest cities in settled systems. Well, let me know if you need anything. Then you've come to the right place.
Session completed. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. changed. Take a seat. Who are you?
Wait, Autumn has friends? Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. <laughs> now you're talking. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. You serious? Damn. There's not many people who can say that. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? Yes, what? Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. It's quite a leap of faith that you're asking me to take. I have no particular love for Marco, but he is a business associate. So I must protect my reputation. Fortunately for you, I'm in a generous mood. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to You run the Red Mile and survive. Show me what you can do again. Good. That means you've prepared yourself for what lies ahead. As before, I'll collect wagers from our patrons who will bet on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Now is your chance to get a good look at our 
fearless challenger, as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not steel determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower to see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile! Testing yourself against the mile.
Congratulations, Renna. Once again, you've succeeded where most have failed. To challenge the mile more than once and live to tell the tale is rare indeed. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. <coughs> As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Well done. You made it. You must be. You're back. Are you okay? And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Oh, and you can drop that whole intimidation thing you're trying. How could you possibly? Maybe someday I can. Uh, but no, no. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You'd rather go back to the days when this place was raided and plundered on a regular basis. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. I had a feeling about you. stabilized.
transferring parts now. Thanks again for the help. Over and out. Gear looks green, ready to land. What's going on? Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. <coughs> ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. 
If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. <laughs> what the hell? Guards! Okay.
Got a freighter coming soon. No time to talk. Deputy, how goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then <coughs> boom! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Who, me? Without you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. <laughs> 